So um, welcome to our first session of our training on computable general equilibrium models. Today, we will discuss the extension of the, the standard open economy CGE into open economy models and dynamic models. Now, um, these are the reference I used in, in, the, in um, creating these lectures. Please refer especially to the last, re the last source, Textbook of Computable General Equilibrium Modeling, link, because that's where I found most of the theory. Additionally, you may refer to Akema Glue for theory on economic dynamics and growth, growth, and then Abi Cockburn and Decalue for, for an explanation of functional forms and parameterization. And finally, Bohr Fisher for just for an introduction to CG modeling. Now, now let's begin with extending the closed economy mod model into an open economy one. Um, our first assumption in the, in our in our extension is that this that the economy to be modeled is so small that its activities have no impact on the rest of the world. Now, mathematically, this means that foreign prices for both exports and imports are exogenous. Now. Denote the domestic prices of exports and imports for the IT good as, as so, and the foreign prices of such like so again. We we call the exchange rate epsilon the va the value which satisfy, satisfies the following equations. So in this case, epsilon times the foreign price should give the domestic price. Now. Our next assumption is that the economy has a constraint on regarding its balance of payments. In this case, um, the, to the total uh, international, sorry, uh, foreign prices of exports plus, plus um, the account deficit in terms of foreign currency is equal to the total, total local prices of imports. Now, in this case, again, the current account deficit is extremely exogenous. Now we go to our to our first Armington assumption. Here we we posit that domestic and foreign goods are imperfect substitutes. So instead of households and firms directly consuming domestic or foreign goods, they consume what we call an Armington composite good. In this case, for profit maximizing firms, they choose suitable combinations of domestic and foreign goods, which solve the profit maximization problem, and households just consume these Armington composite goods based on whatsoever utility function. Now, a profit maximizing firm has to maximize this profit function as its objective function, subject to this production function as the constraint. Now, note that a firm which produces Armington composite goods face tariff inclusive prices, meaning that, that aside, from, aside from the price of imports, or it's, it also has to, has to include a tariff for every, good per, for every imported good purchased, rather than just tariff exclusive ones. Now, in the profit 